Oh, good morning, Interved fans, and uh, welcome to the Turfentine preview for Sunday, the 1st of August, and Happy New Year to all those horses out there throughout the Southern Hemisphere. It is your birthday today, and from us on Winning Ways show and uh, the Interved team, we wish you all a very happy New Year. Sad news, Pocket Power passed away yesterday, day before his uh, 20th birthday, he was 19 years old, and... Um, uh, he was a fantastic horse and we remember him in the show because he was just a fantastic, fantastic racehorse and a credit to the Bass team who prepared him, looked after him and raced him so well. But we've got an eight race program today. We've got rolling pick threes. Remember all day uh, pick three carryovers, rolling pick three carryovers. I think there's 25,000 in each pick three carryover. So that should make a difference. And I'm going to um, try and give this preview um, a pick three idea. Okay, so let's go with first race one, a 1400 meter maiden plate for fillies and mares, and I think it's absolutely two cornered contest, um, maybe three for the pick three. Uh, nine run for Isla, you don't know how this is going to improve. Uh, Samanga jumps aboard it, Warren rode it last time, Warren Kennedy, he was on Mirabi Princess, but that's scratched from his stable, but Samanga gets the chance to ride this, and um, I expect it to go very, very well. Right choice, got good form, Muzi, uh, always a very big danger, and um, it's got some form, his last two runs are pretty good, so it's got to be the big danger. And then Savage Love, look for improvement from this one, from the Fani Broncos team, uh, could run well. Uh, Kamala rode Capistol last time for the Azzi team, and he's now on the Dawson horse, that's why I fancy it more than Capistol. Race 2, Mary Raider 104, uh, 2,000 meters, absolute three-cornered contest. This I like the category four. I think might be the right horse. Samunga again, um, uh, number six for uh, the Grant Maroon, and his horse led a long way in the, into the straight in the Gold Cup yesterday. Well done for to Grant. Um, Doctor Do Little ignore his last start. This is a big improver in the race, and he is the even money favourite, so he's got to go into the play. And then Lily Blue and Nachi, I suppose they've both got chances, as do Christopher Robin. So it's actually very, very competitive, and you could take the field in the, um, in the pick three. Um, uh, because race three is a maiden plate, 1400 metres, and uh, I really like um, the, the favourite here, which is Forged by Fire, Drawn One, Muzi Yeni aboard it. Blinkers have improved, this horse should go very well. The horse to take a close look at is, uh, or the two, that's uh, one is 10 Soweta Spinner. A lot of money for this last time. Kamala won this one as well. So Kamala could ride the first three winners and might ride the first pick three. Rides at runners one, the cock with Zaki definitely goes into your play. Right, race four. Um, there's a pick three revolving around this, 1,000 metre pinnacle stakes. Well, the interesting horse here is Valerian King because he was scratched from yesterday's race and the uh, Mercury for this to obviously stay here. They said no transport available. Well, that's the usual story um, uh, because if there's no transport available, the horse doesn't get a penalty. It doesn't get the automatic suspension for 14 day suspension or 12 or 7, I think it is today. Um, so he looks like he's been left at home for this race. So you, that, that bit of information. Uh, should stand you in good stead. Bold, bold Ransom's an 8 to 10 chance, expect him to improve. And then the horse that interests me is Mr. Flood. He lost his form so badly, um, and he was the best sprinter around. So if he comes back to anything near his best, he's going to be a brute to beat. So he'd go into all my pick threes as well. Race five, uh, the Fiddies and Mares, 2,000 meters, and, um, and very competitive races. The money's come for number seven, Franklin. Blinkers have been put on, and I think the blinkers will improve her, and she certainly comes down in the merit rating, and she's good enough to win a race like this um, if the blinkers make an improvement. But it's not as cut and dried as that. The favorite Southern song from the Adam, uh, Michael Azzi team, uh, number three on the card, Muzi Yeni, huge chance, good form. Dynastic Light got very good form as well, much better last run, and Samunga gets on this one, always a big plus to have him on. Travelling Wilbury's got a chance, Ideal Jet comes back from a ret rest, so that's got to have some sort of chance, and even Irish Wonder Girl might come into the race with some sort of chance. So a very tough fifth race, and um, difficult to separate them, but Franklin Southern Song might be the best too. Race 6, Merry Raid 72, 2,000 metres, 
And it says St. John Gray might get on the board here with number three, Fred. Improved last run, and this horse has got some ability. I think that he can, he's, he's got a big chance of going in in this race. He, he'll run well. It's a very, very ordinary field. Uh, there's only three or four, I think, that can win it. Uh, Ideal Wolf Muzieni gets on this again, six to one shot. I'd have a good each way bet on this. Uh, when he rode it last time, it ran second to so long spring. So Ideal Wolf's got a big chance here. Uh, Elusa Swan might improve. Um, uh, looks like it's coming the, going the right way. Fifth of July has got some to a chance, and then the Sash is your favourite. Uh, she's run two very good races uh, this mare, um, and uh, you'd expect her to go well in a race like this. Race seven, Mirror Road 87, 2,000 metres. I made it two horses, uh, actually maybe three, two. My top two choices, Oyster King. Probably win again. He didn't get a big penalty. He's really come to form this horse, and he's he's quite useful. And uh, Chris Yonker's doing a good job with him. The big danger is the cop. Uh, I think it was a much improved last run. Uh, he's been running in stronger fields in this, and I expect this horse to go very very well here. He's come down the merit rating to Lyle Hudson and gets to ride him. I think that's a big plus for Sean Terry. Skimanak, uh, Danielson. Super handsome, won extremely well last time and uh, might be able to go in again. And then Barrack, much better last run. Uh, Mike the Cox stuck with Jared Penny. Race eight, uh, this is a uh, Phillies and Mares, 66, and they got 2,000 meters. And I made this a three corner contest. The top two, in my estimation, were three Tartan Dance who got very good form. Moosey gets to ride, and I think it's a big, big runner. Six Crusade to Royalty. Uh, very well in at the weights um, with a merit rating of 62. I mean, won a nice maiden last time. It's pretty unexposed and it's um, only a 62. Well, that should give her a big chance. And then the third one is Wedding Bliss. Lucky Lucas, uh, Craig Zaki. Uh, ignore his last start. The one before that was pretty good. Uh, one well. So all in all looks like a very interesting pick three day and um, before you get to play the pick threes well you can go and play the Vegas games. Uh, have a great uh, Sunday and from me James Goodman and the Interbet team have a very good one.